All right, so All right, let's start talking about this thing here. This is my project Waverunner GP 1300R, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how there is a hole in the engine block, and that is these two pieces <coughs> right here and here, or you can call it an engine case. In this video, we're going to kind of go through taking this apart, and every once in a while, I'm going to kind of cut back to here. So I can actually show you what's going on because unfortunately we're t I was in a bit of a rush taking it apart and it's kind of late at night. But it's sort of interesting to see what happened taking it apart. So like I said, I'm going to come back here and show you guys the different stuff. Right, guys, get a look at this. Yeah, we found the problem is in this one somewhere. And it seems a bit weird. Let me see if I can get it out. We'll file down the score marks on those pistons. They'll be good as new. Oh, yeah. Now, I had too high hopes for this. Yeah, I thought so. Well, you just gotta go fishing. Just you just gotta, gotta get the vacuum cleaner. Yeah, that's true. Vacuum cleaner. I might do it, eh? What a weird idea. Just crazy. Might idea. work. Do, 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 do. We've got an outlet out here. Plug that baby in. You guys think it's gonna work? Comment below, and if we get enough subscribers, we're going to try to get this out with the vacuum. Otherwise, we're not gonna try. But we're not gonna try to do it otherwise. Oh yeah. Uh, is this the strongest vacuum we got? Well, it's the strongest one that's one foot away from my leg. A little, a little more. A little, a little more. A little more power. I don't know if we got any more power. So the straws, maybe you could just put it on there and then suck it up. With your <laughs> okay, there. what if we just drill the hole in the top and then just put like a screw in the top and then just pulled it out? Okay. I mean, because it's already screwed anyway. Oh yeah, that's piston. Well, I have done some, you know, if we decide we're going to reuse it, we'll just weld the hole. Yeah, exactly. We'll there we go. We'll just weld the hole shut, cat, file down the casting flaws. That's what they do at the factory Yamaha anyway. I mean, their factory uh, Wave Runner teams, they reuse all their blown up engines. Is it, it, because it's, for one thing, it's wasteful to just throw away your blown up engine parts. That's wasteful. Oh, man. He's got the drill. Jeez. He's going for it. Full stupid mode. I'm assuming that maybe right there there'd be a clear spot. We're going to find out. You know, because it'd be really hard if I drill into the rod. I got to get the vacuum going because maybe some of these parts will get reused. <laughs> He's got it. Oh. Hit pay dirt. We just struck oil, boys. Yep, now I gotta get a screw. He's gonna find a screw in there. Hey, maybe we can find a screw in one of these little boxes. Uh, I think I got one. Oh, see, here's a little thing of screws right there for your YouTube. Sweet. So they know where our screws are. Huh. But they didn't even look at it. Yeah, exactly, because you have to look at it. Well, Check good this. Thing, good thing I grabbed that screwdriver. Seems like it's still sort of attached-ish. Well, yeah. Wait, do you think that bearing's got any play in it or something? I think that bearing exploded. And somehow chunks of it lay. Yeah, I think the case is like exploded out of there. Yeah. Well, that's your problem right there. The guy before you didn't even look at it. Alright boys, check this out. Okay, that was creepy. Look at it. Almost. They're free. Look at that. Let's see. We're going down there, getting a shot of the piston. Oh, looks like there's a little hole Can in the you piston. Grab this for me? I got the camera. Alrighty. It's just too awkward. Yeah. This is the piston in that 
center uh, the center cylinder next to where we drilled the hole through the top um, let's see you can see the skirts all busted up here that's as far as I could get the pin out I had to grind it out uh, the hole this hole on the other side you can see all the rings are been vulcanized to the piston itself so this is clearly trash and it wouldn't run well I wouldn't say that you could get this to run if you welded this hole and tried to clean everything up got your rings out and cleaned out where the rings sit and somehow we're able to get this wrist pin back in there but it would probably run for a little while but not very long so that's the piston here is the cylinder from that center section you can see it broke the skirt off of the cylinder and if I can it's fairly well scored up inside most notably I don't know if you guys can see right there that score mark I and mean, it's nothing spectacular there's a little chip off the uh, and I think that's the intake port so this is not usable in this condition I would have to uh, have this rebuilt I believe this could be sleeved yeah so the one in the middle is definitely grenaded and that, I'm trying to figure out that's a good core here's the hole I feel the hole in the block it's right here I can see it oh let me stick my finger through hello there that's the that's the problem right there. Looks like a problem. Throw another angle of this hole. That right there. Very large hole. It should look like this right here. Uh, I'd say a little bubble gum and JB weld. That won't be a big problem at all. And this here, this here rod bearing. Just have the bottom end honed out. I'd say that's you know. probably just fine. Let's put some silicone in there. <laughs> just had the machine shop put an oversized 10 thou oversized bearing in it and call it brand new. Yep. Ready to pluck it. Pluck this duck. Action. Perfect. Hooray. The belly of the beast right there. What do you think? Looks good, eh? Let's check out this hole in the block. Well, yeah. You've seen better days. That's a loose bolt. That's what was causing your problems. Oh, yeah. Boy, that's pretty, pretty tough. Show buff out. I don't know if you can see. You guys can see this hole right here. That's not supposed to be there. And it's really quite bad. On the other one. This one here had a square hole right like that. But I've already welded that one up. Um, see I've welded it. So... That's what I'm going to end up doing is welding this because I'm trying to stay on a budget with this setup. This piece I still have to weld it up, but I'm going to be uh, welding this up. I've got a piece of sheet aluminum in the correct thickness. I'm going to have to cut it out, do a lot of cutting, and we have to have a spool gun so I can weld this up. This is the crankshaft, and this is that center rod. Let me move the camera down here. Here's the center rod, and you can see that it's you know, this is what smashed a hole in the side of the case. Uh, this flopping around probably was pushing on a piece of the piston or the cylinder skirt. But the bearing from inside that is completely gone. And obviously, it's got a ton of play in it. But uh, I had to go ahead and order a complete new uh, crankshaft assembly. I do not have the tools to separate this and replace that. So, I'm going to have to get a new crankshaft altogether. 
is this is the exhaust. Well, one piece of the exhaust. A huge exhaust on these things. But this has a catalytic converter built in, but the, the actual material, the web material, has come free and is rolling about. You can hear it in there. But uh, maybe I'll pop this apart. I gotta get that out of there anyways. To keep these gaskets good. Fortunately, they are the MLS type, which they usually stay a lot better than your regular garbage type. Alright, the moment of truth. Oh, there you go. That right there is a catalyst. Now, that was just floating around in there. And I think it may have been plugging the exhaust, so I don't really know how that would work as far as affecting the engine. And clearly it would cut it down on power. I don't know that it would blow it up. I don't think that that was the cause of the engine explosion. <coughs> because uh, the person who sold it to me told me that they forgot to put oil in the oil injection system the day that it blew up. So no oil equals, you know, goodbye engine. But there's that, and well, there's something else I was going to say, which is, oh, the reason why when we're taking it apart it's all dark and it's late at night, uh, that was the actually the day that I bought this thing, so I bought it and then just stripped it down, got the engine out, figured out what was wrong with it, and that's why I'm doing this, to kind of show you guys in the daylight what's really going on. But I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, pipe back together with no... Oh, this guy. Uh, yeah, I don't uh, see any reason to have that in there. Plus, that part's really expensive. That's just kind of an overview of what is wrong with this thing here today for this episode. I'm just trying to keep you guys up to date. And uh, I'm really hoping to have this thing put back together soon. Yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say about it. Thank <laughs> you.